Alright, I am Rubicon Ranger, and this is a tutorial on rotor stacking and building with rotors. So people were asking on Reddit how to build with rotors, and specifically how to stack rotors when they're really close together. So I'm going to go over rotor stacking, and then I'm going to go out over how to connect them to your body, and where to put them, and a few other things with related to rotors. So, usually rotors, you think of a helicopter where the rotor is right over the top of the helicopter, right? Well, you don't really want to do that in RoboCraft. It's good to help you lift off the ground, but you want a majority of them behind and out of the way. And that won't actually affect the flight of the craft that much. So you can put them back and out of the way and then have all your blocks and uh, armor up in front. And it won't be that bad. Now, there are cons some concerns about hovers and some other things, but we'll go over that after this. So, rotor stacking. The tightest rotor stack that you can get, as far as like where the rotors are and where they connect, is usually eight blocks tall. Uh, you can get away with seven blocks for the smaller rotors, uh, and it's also eight blocks for the tier three rotors. So for tier four, you have uh, two and two stacked like this, and then you can have one set above the other. And those will connect six blocks apart, or eight blocks total. So, uh, and the way you do that is you would take one, you'd build out, and in order to, your, your first one you can just place like this, right? You, you're out here, uh, and you can just place it. Now the second one, the problem with this, is you need to place the rotor you, on the bo bottom block. So, and you can't have a bottom block here because it interferes with the other rotor. So if I try to take this rotor and place it, you'll notice I can't place it there. And no normal cube will go there. So what we do is we place a cube, then we go to our cosmetic tab, and you grab your headlight block. You place a headlight block, you remove the block above it, you take the rotor, and then you place it down. There you go. And you you can use cosmetics to get underneath parts to place things for multiple other blocks. So let's uh, get rid of that. So there's another way to do it, and we'll go over that in a bit, but let's just go over how to mount them to the body. So usually you want some uh, block delay in between your rotor bl blade mount and the body. I'm using arrow rods here just because they do tend to make your build lighter overall, but the thing is they'll jump damage uh, one block. So it's good to have some blocks on the rotor side so that when you get hit on the body or in the arrow rod, damage will flow to the body side first before it flows to the rotor. So this damage is having to flow this far before it reaches my rotor mount. The problem is though, if this corner gets hit, um, then both of these rotor mounts are going to get cut off and you're going to lose this rotor. So there's a couple of ways to fix that issue. Uh, we can put in some block delay. So we can just have like a simple weave here that just takes and extends the path of damage from rotor to rotor. So now uh, if you count the number of blocks from side to side, um, your rotor is more likely to survive because it's having to travel four blocks before it reaches the other rotor instead of just two. One, two, three, four instead of two. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can switch two of the mounts. So here I've taken the mount from green and I've just run it right into a five long rod and then I've wrapped the other connection around it and then that goes to the body here. And what this does is when one corner of your bot gets shot, so this corner here, it's only get, getting rid of one connection from each rotor instead of two connections from one rotor. And that way you get to keep um, your connections. Same thing as if you get shot in the middle, uh, you'll keep both connections. So it's just spacing out the connections for each rotor a little bit more. And then we can look at some of the other ways to do this. This is the tier 3 rotor, and it's a little more picky. Uh, you'll notice I have another block of space here in between the rotor blade and the body. And you can place blocks here, uh, but the one right after it, you can't even place arrow rods here of any kind. Um, it doesn't like the hitboxes at the end. So you either have to run it out into another arrow rod, or you have to do some weird stuff with like uh, slopes. And I can't. Remember. There's a spot where you can actually place slopes, I think. But generally, just add another block of space here, and then you should be able to stack them just the same. And uh, you can also cross in, a, in the same way. And then for the smallest rotors, uh, this is the tightest stack you can get. Uh, and now this one, uh, you can't actually place a headlight here. So if I go to my cosmetic tab and I try to place my headlight, you'll notice that I can't place a headlight here. So we actually have to use a special method to get that there. And this is also the way that you place rotors without a headlight. So um, so this is a seven block tall stack total. 
and that's the tightest you can get with these and of course you can also put another one over the top so with these uh, say you want another one on top you can also go up one and then um, right above in the middle and then you just go out one and four with this one it's actually large enough that we can place another block underneath uh, four and then uh, get a rotor and put it there so you can put another one here um, all right, so how do we do this without a headlight? So I'm going to back all the way up here and get rid of everything in our bay. Okay, so how do we place rotors without a headlight? So if I have my uh, point where I'm going to connect my rotor, and I'm going to do just a single stack of rotors. So let's go out and then four for the largest ones. And then we need to place one high and one low. So we're going to only be able to do one to begin with. So we, we're not able to have that block there. We place one here, but then we can't place a block here. And say we don't have a headlight. So now what you do is you take and you remove the block where the rotor is going to be. And you move your design over to one side. And then you turn mirror mode on. You place a block where you want your rotor to be. Make sure this spot is unobstructed. Then you're going to want to turn mirror mode off, remove the block that's where the rotor is going to be. Now we want to place the rotor up, so we have to place a block underneath the rotor mount. You remove the block here, you copy your rotor, you turn mirror mode on, and then you place on both sides of the bay. And then you turn mirror mode off, you get rid of the part that you didn't want, and you move your rotors back to the center. And this works for placing things out of order for any part. So say you have a mortar, that you want to mount and there's only four blocks to mount it on you can move it over to one side of the bay you can place a block over here where you know the mortar is going to be you place the mortar on top and it will place above these without having to remove blocks underneath it and replace it back in a difficult order so that's how to place rotors like this okay quick jump cut to talk about how you should mount your rotors with regard to your majority of your health so you want a majority of your health in front of your rotors in this case I have a this is an old design back from boost era and I have a majority of my health covering my rotors and I also have chosen a shape that covers the rotors from my front it's not very elegant but it's very functional um, I have backup hovers in here uh, for this one I would probably change how I laid these out now I'd have them up higher and I'm have, have them spread out a little bit more but it still works nonetheless and I'll show you that it works with the rotors themselves so if we go into test mode this design will work just fine even though all the mass is up in the front where the uh, body is so you'll see it takes off just fine and then once it's in the air it works just fine and I can tilt up I can tilt down, no problem. And the hovers will work when the rotors come off as a backup movement part. Most modern copter bots have this layout where they have the health in the front obstructing the rotor blades so that a majority of your health effective components absorb damage and your rotors are preserved till later in the fight. There are some exceptions to having the rotors all the way in the back, like for uh, some smaller copters or flatter, longer copters. It's good to have a rotor under your nose or center of mass to prevent the bot from tipping uh, down in the, in the front when your hovers stick, if you have hovers very far out from the rotors in the back of your bot. We can also look at the factory and see examples of uh, uh, bots that are laid out correctly with rotors. I'll try and point out a few if I see them. Uh, right away you can see one here. Uh, he has skis, which I don't know why, but um, there's a rotor under his uh, main body to help prevent from tipping when he lifts off the ground, and then he has a majority of ro his rotors in the back. You'll see a lot of people using TX in Tier 5 because it's lightweight and it allows you to move a little bit faster. So let's see if there's any other designs. This one's laid out correctly. Uh, the center mass is a little far forward. Um, so you might experience tipping issues with this, but he's got propellers to help the lift the body off the ground. Uh, this is another one. This one's using medium cubes. It's not a 2000 CPU, so you'd be, be better off using TX cubes, but the rotor layout's correct. Sometimes if you have a rotor very far back and you have a lot of your mass up in front, you'll end up is with uh, hinging issues where you tip forward if this is the only remaining rotor. So that's also something to consider. But even with uh, leg designs, you'll see this layout over and over. And uh, all these designs also kind of have the same uh, rod setup, uh, although more connections would probably be a good idea here. 
All right, well, hopefully that was helpful.